What's up, y'all? Toasted Ted here once again. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Deserted Zombie Survival. Uh, I believe this will be episode 10 of season 5. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 10. Um, last episode, I just completed the uh, prison bomb base in the prison. And I think, I don't, I don't know if the uh, start location got better or something, but the last couple times that I've tried to load this game just for the fun of it, it spawned me within visual range, at least, of this prison. And coincidentally, I have this base in the prison, so I'm guessing that as soon as you build something, you start spawning within range of that thing that you built. But if that's not the case, then whatever. But I just happen to, by chance, keep getting within range of that each time I load because I've tried it three different times just to test where I would spawn and all three times I could see the prison at least so I'm happy with that I do kind of like the idea of spawning randomly in spaces in places sometimes simply because um uh, stamina, yeah. simply because it makes it feel like you're just free roaming the streets or free roaming the land in between saves. And then every time you load, you're, you're just like catching up with yourself. You know what I mean? It feels like that. Obviously that's not happening, but you know what I mean? Which is pretty cool. But I think also in this same base or in this same, uh, map, I built that, uh, cot in the home. And let's see. Do I have any fabrics? I don't think I have any fabrics at all. That sucks. But yeah, now I kind of want to build a new bed inside that new base in the prison, which is my next mission. But I'm not going to destroy my old bed until I have at least like eight or nine cloth. You know what I mean? Or col or whatever just to be safe about it, because I don't want to destroy my bed and then be stuck without a bed for a while because I destroyed it too early, you know what I mean? It makes me feel like whenever there's nothing there, it makes me feel like there's definitely something there, but like in the, in the ground, so you have to bend down to get it. But sometimes it's not the case. But yeah, some, I keep forgetting that this is my Toasted Ted character and not Herschel. Because I look in here and I see the clothes, like that, that clothing is basically what I want Herschel to wear, but not the black hoodie. It would be like a maroon one or something. I don't know. But um, like I have the better guns and stuff in this profile. So, but yeah, I don't know. That's my new mission for this uh, series. And I do kind of like how it's free roam like that because... You just like pop in and you're not sure exactly where you are. And I don't really need ammo so much in this file. Oh, I can get a grenade though. So you like how the hand pops up so you can grab it, but the name of the item doesn't pop up so you can't actually grab it. Like once the name pops up, you can grab it. It's like, okay. <laughs> like the hand shouldn't pop up unless you can grab something. You know what I mean? That's got to be a tack light, being that small. Yeah. Is there anything I don't have a tack light on? Yeah, right there. No? Wait. What do I, I need? What is this? That's the Uzi mag. Okay, I need a mag for the dragon olves and a scope. So I need to fix that item. See, I don't, I don't know what to deal with that. Ooh, wow, dragon have mag right there. What a coincidence. Oh, yeah, there's my scope, too. What do you know? <laughs> All right, so now the dragon have is fixed, and I have an extra light. Let's see. 
Yep, need one on the Uzi. Fix the Uzi mag, get the Uzi scope, get the Uzi light. Okay, now the AK. I think I fixed that one already, didn't I? Scope, mag, yep. I think I'm going to get rid of the pump for the Winchester. I don't know why, but the Winchester is just that. I mean, I just like it that much. <laughs> it's one of those guns that, like, you shoot. I mean, it's realistic in terms of six shots. You know what I mean? Which right now I'm out, so I don't have any ammo, which that sucks. But um, I like how it's six shots. Ooh, that's probably a better scope for this thing. Yep, okay. What is this one? A seven. All right. What does this have on it? A five. Give it a seven. All right, then. Um, yeah, I don't even think the, the Uzi can actually zoom in anyway. Like, I just put a scope on it, and you saw I had a scope. And then when you zoom, it just does this. You know what I mean? So there's not really a zoom. It's just kind of iron sight zoom, I guess. <laughs> Which is like, whatever. No big deal. I don't, I don't really use the Uzi a whole lot. But in this profile, I'm basically gathering not really the best weapons, but obviously some of the best, I should say. Like, I, like that Benelli. I'll probably get a Colt if I happen to find one. I'll probably keep it. But... Um, it's not like a necessity, but I want to see what happens when you hit the end type with a fire axe. Well, not like the sledgehammer, that's for sure. <laughs> what if there is a sledgehammer around here? I can. Oh, there's got to be in that repair shop over here. I'm going to take this zombo out. You did, sucker. Uh-oh. You did, sucker. <laughs> Crawlers, I care less. But yeah, I want to get a uh, sledgehammer on this profile now. Or maybe that golf club. But I kind of want to get a sledgehammer. Oh, there it is. All right, good. Just because this weapon specifically, out of all the ones that I've seen at least, well, here, let's test the golf club now that I'm here and I got one. No, watch out. Oh, my God. Let me heal first. Don't kill me. Okay. Now I'm going to come out here. Test, uh, I doubt this will put the end type down, but it is a double swinging weapon. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, let's see what happens with the sledgehammer now. I don't think I zoomed back far enough. Okay. Yeah, sledgehammer puts him down on a knee and he gets back up. That's awesome. So this is a definite hap, uh, Fire axe and sledgehammer. If you have both of those for melee weapons running around, then you should be fine no matter what you run into. Because this even stops N types. That's nuts. I, mean, I didn't think there was anything, any weapon that just straight up stopped the N types. I'm kind of curious if N types respond to gunshots now. You know what I mean? Like if you're here. Ah, oh, I don't have any. Oh, wait, here it is. See if this puts him down on a knee. Yeah, straight up shot from the Benelli to the face doesn't put him down on a knee, but a sledgehammer does. That's awesome. <laughs> like what? But yeah, um, I don't know. I think that's an awesome discovery, honestly. The the whole one knee injury look for the end types. Is that attack light? Yeah, it's a tech light. Yep. Don't need that. 
No, or, uh, is that another pistol? No, I only have it. Oh, shoot, shoot, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Holy jabees, why am I not running? There we go. Man. I honestly think that uh, while you're crouching and you just press the sprint button, you should be able to just automatically uncrouch and start sprinting. You know what I mean? Because it's a totally separate button. and I don't know. I, I just think that would make more sense. Especially if you're in like a pinch then you just, you know, you panic, if you will, and you're, you know, kind of thing. And you forget that you're crouching and you, like I just did. You just straight up forget that you're crouching. Like, why can't I run? And then, oh, yeah, I'm crouching. Like, you shouldn't have to, like, uncrouch before you can start running. But I don't know. I mean, it's actually pretty cool, too, at the same time, so. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it in real life, if you're crouching, you know what I mean? I mean, people that say, oh, it's not as realistic if you just do it. But in real life, if you were crouching behind something, trying to hide from someone, or whatever, and then all of a sudden that thing passes, you're not just going to stand up first and then start running. You're going to run while you're crouching. You know what I mean? Or at least start running while you're crouching and then stand up or whatever. You're not going to make the conscious decision to stand up first, let him see you, and then start running. For some reason, I think going up ladders while you're being attacked doesn't work. Yeah, see this? Doesn't let me go up the flipping ladder because I'm being attacked. That's very annoying. Now I'm not being attacked unless we go right up. I mean, it kind of makes sense, I guess, if you think about that too in realism. Like if they were on your heels like that, attacking you while you were trying to climb, then they'd probably stop you from climbing. You know. But anyway, yeah, uh, that's this episode, I guess, episode 10. Right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like, leave your comments down below, and stay tuned for more. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Toasted Ted, and I'm out. <laughs>